So we're going to Cairo's house today. We've got for you a package from Bike24 in Germany. Now this should be my Airfly 2 bar. Massive box for this. And that's it. Let's have a look at them. So, we get a manual, nothing else in the box, but we do get these, the Airfly 2 carbon so rotator. taking it all apart, um, just uh, so I can get to it easier, and I've had to remove the camera out of the stand because it broke. So. Um, Okay, Aerofly 2 carbon ray bar, S works as you can see. Um, it's got some bump here. Mm, lightweight, saves you 17 seconds apparently. Uh, compatible electronic shifter. And it's designed for internal cables. Cool. And um, also, we've got the user manual. Now, there is an interesting bit here. If they're Aerobar clip-on compatible, it will have um, a little section to say that it is. But I've looked round uh, these bars, and uh, wherever there's writing, like there is there, um, and there's some writing there, and there's some writing underneath the here, but there's nothing to say that they're clip on compatible. Uh, probably because there's no space to clip any aero bars off. This is a good tip. Um, okay, yeah, it just tells you don't slide them, the the uh, shifters up the bar, you'll damage it, and it tells you how to tighten up the um, stem faceplate. Moving on to the bar itself, I've noticed some things straight away. There's this dimply pattern on the top of the flats. Um, that will add some uh, some grip, for sure. Then you've got the little S works logo. Okay? I'm not sure if that's uh, okay. Well, and then you've got the dim the dip where you're going to do your bar tape up to, so it sits flat. So when you've got your uh, bar tape there, it'll sit nice and flat around the corner. Uh, you've got a nice hole coming out there to the shifter. Um, there's a little uh, 3D barcode there. There's a label inside, SO3. Nothing else in that one. There's a little hole underneath here to uh, bring the, or what I'm going to use, the bar end DI2 charger. The cable will come out of there and comes around up to the shifter. Or it can, it doesn't have to, I think it can go internally. I'm not sure what it is on my other ones, I didn't, I didn't set it up. Um, okay, look through the front. It's a nice flat uh, bar. Now there is something weird on the back that I've never seen on a bar before. These two metal bits. Now if I try and get the light, uh, I'm not sure if I can get that. But having a look in there, they only, they're only about 10 mil long, but they are threaded. If I look at this one and tilt it slightly, it's threaded and I'm not sure what it's for. I can't find it for my brief look in the instructions. Um, I'm stumped what that could be for, what you would screw in there. But, um, I don't know, leave a comment for me. I mean, I haven't researched what it's for, I'm just being honest. I don't know what that could be for. Um, there's enough space there for my hydraulic cable and DI2. Uh, the way I'm going to route it, the same as my um, the same as my other Aerofly bars, 
um, is I'm going to come up. Okay, so I'm going to come. They don't want to sit properly. So I'm going to come up, out of the bike, into here, along here to my shifter. Uh, then I'm going to go from here, through the bar, to the other shifter, and then to the charging port. Okay? So I'm going to do it all in one. So I'm just going to have two hydraulic uh, brake cables. Um, this will be the front and the rear. And I'm going to bring the DIT cable in through this side as well. Um, I'm quite impressed with that shape. They are very nice. Nice and flat along the front. Uh, that would be the view when you're looking down on them. Those grippy top bits, if I can get it into focus. Focus on my finger, there we go. They are not very high. But they are going to make a difference. They are on the top and the bottom. And then They've got a square, kind of all, not square, but it's slightly angled profile. I'm trying to get that with the camera uh, down here. And the bar ends are round. That one's round. A very grippy middle piece. Very grippy for the shifters. Um, Let's see how much they weigh. So I'll bring in the scales as my bars roll all over the place. Bring in the scales. Now, uh, I'm not sure I can weigh that properly. How can I do this? Because they're going to keep falling over. So I found this box. I'm just resting these on the middle. 223 grams. That's about what I was getting when I was trying to stand them up by themselves. Bike24.com uh, uh, from Germany. Um, they are, these bars are 235 euros with a 20 euro delivery charge. Um, they were shipped on Tuesday. Today it's Saturday and they've arrived. So. Less than a week, perfect. Um, uh, in when I do the conversion rate, that's still cheaper than I could get them in the UK. They were two hundred and fifty pounds in the UK plus delivery. Um, I couldn't get the VAT off um, on the websites that had them in stock, so uh, I went to Germany. They gave me the v VAT off plus the exchange rate of the euro. It's not great but I still got them cheaper than I could get them um, from the UK. So I'll be fitting these on my bike and then we will do another video to show you the stem and the bike all together. Someone at the door always annoying me. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. We'll get these fitted. Launch that out of the way. We'll get these fitted and we will see you soon on Cairo's house. Thanks for watching. Take care, bye.